And Mohammed from America? I recently sent in a question to your emails about the man who found money on his legs after performing ghusl. Do you remember that? I have 150 questions a day. So I remember something like that, which is not very normal, because if you take ghusl, money is not something that is gluish. If you put water on it, even for a little while, it will dissolve by itself. So most likely this wasn't many, but okay, assuming it, it was. Your question. Okay, Sheikh. So he performed all the prayers that he did since being in the state of major impurity for a second time. So he performed, he performed them in the order that they originally came. He performed Asr, Maghrib, Isha, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, and Fajr again. And he took his time while using the bathroom and performing ghusl, which means that he did not hurry. And he took small breaks in between the prayers that he re-performed. So are his prayers now valid? And is there anything else that he should do? Okay, I will answer, inshallah. Muhammad from the U.S. says that he repeated all the prayers that he thought his ghusl was not valid due to stains of semen on his thigh. So he repeated all these prayers, like five or ten of them, in order. But when he took his ghusl, he took his time. So he didn't make it in one minute to rush and make up these prayers. He took his time, shampooed probably, and put some conditioner, whatever. And afterwards, when he prayed the 10 prayers in order and sequence, he may have taken a gap between a prayer and, two, and the other to drink water and, and, and a short gap. There's no problem in that. It's all valid. 